<laughs> I love so, coming here because the people here are so interesting. <laughs> I, is anybody not wearing shoes? Because that was the best. Last time I was here, I was like, yeah. Shoes optional. You can do anything you want here. <laughs> so Jenny, we'll start with you. Let's start going back several years. What was the spark for Crash Test World? What convinced you of this opportunity? Uh, Crash Test World is kind of 15 years in the making. Um, I started an orga organization called Project Explorer, and the idea was to use video to bring the world into the classroom. And that started in 2003, so two years before YouTube existed. I was doing online video quite by accident. Uh, over the last 15 years, we've been used in 5,300 schools, so we started talking to um, some pretty big celebrities before I found you. Um, and they said, why aren't, you doing, why aren't you doing this for television? Like, you have a bigger audience than a lot of TV shows. I said, I don't know how to do TV. I have a handy cam and like my, my computer and I create my own content. So that's sort of where this came from, uh, moving from a five minute format to a 30 minute format. Um, we started talking about it. The co-producer on the show is Andrew Zimmern from the Travel Channel, MSNBC, What's Eating America. We've been friends for 15 years. And he said, let's shop this around. And I said, look, I want to do television that's important and has the ability to change the world. And for five years, I heard it's too smart. Nobody's going to watch it. So no network would fund this at the time. So I said, fine, I'll just go out and find my own money and do it, which is what we did for two years. And then Discovery Channel just took it. So there is a market for stuff like this. You just have to, if you're gonna be the first person in the space, you just go get it done. Cool. And Carrie, uh, having had the privilege to watch the first season, uh, not once but twice, Crash Test World aligns so well with all the projects that you've done in the past. How did you get connected to the production and what got you excited about the concept? Well, sh uh, Jenny just cold called me actually i was in a hotel room and uh <laughs> we have a mutual friend that i was working on a show with and he gave her my phone number and i talked to her for like an hour it was easy <laughs> it was like she was an old friend and we have the same ethos um we believe in smart tv we believe in not underestimating the intelligence of our audience and i also would like to change the world and make it better so we became friends instantly and this was an easy transition Cool. Carrie's, well, Carrie's the only person I wanted to host this show. Yeah. And the introduction over Twitter was, hey, you two should know each other. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so no pressure. You've got only Carrie lined up as your optimal host. And the first time she heard from me was a cold call. I canceled the first call with her because I freaked out. I'm like, I'm too nervous. Shut up. Um, because I was so in awe of her. I'm like, she's never going to want to work with me. Um, so yeah, the first call was canceled. The second one, I needed like a pep talk from my friends and family. Like, how am I going to talk to this woman who has had a TV show and I've never had a TV show? See, I thought it was game because, like, <laughs> look how busy I am. <laughs> you want to get with this? <laughs> All right, well, to help 